Hello everyone, it's your favorite neighbor, Elmo. Today's video is going to teach you about the basics of attacks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the different troops. Now, this goes for all tiers of troops. Understand that. First troop is going to be your brawlers. Now, as you can see from here, it says that the brawlers have a pretty damn good speed, but they also have a very good load capacity. A, a 7 load capacity, which is only surpassed by cars. So you see the cars? Yeah. So cars have a load capacity of 8, which is just one more. I personally don't use T1 cars. I only have them for mainly just helping me, you know, empty out an account. It's because they're cheap to make. So, um... The second troop you're going to look at will be these. These are actually one of the strongest troops in the game by a large degree. Um, they naturally have high attack, defense, and HP, naturally, which is very important to know. They also have a very good speed, but each time you level it up to, let's say, level 2, that speed will go down by 1, but everything else will go up by 1. Um, these guys' main purpose is to hit hard and hit really, really hard. Um, when you're picking which two troops you want to use, my recommendation is bikers and, and uh, uh, gunners because they have the highest survivability rate as well as they do the most damage. Um, bikers are extremely good against brawlers, so that's why it's always good to get as many bikers as you can against someone who is uh, melee heavy. Um, so the other thing that you need to understand is every single time you upgrade, your troop gets slower, but it also gets stronger. This is intentional, so that way that big players can't, you know, empty out an entire hive in just three seconds. You know, so they make sure that the bigger the troops, the slower they are, giving slower players and weaker players more time to respond. So now what I'm going to show you is an attack. This is going to teach you how to send an attack. Alright, I know it sounds stupid, but it actually has uh, mechanics to it. So just give me about 10 seconds for these troops to get back and then I'll start. So today's unlucky victim is going to be this guy who doesn't really have anything and I honestly don't care because he's not in a hive. So I can do quick select like I just did, or if I am going to do quick select down here. Now. The most important thing you can do whenever you're sending an attack is make sure that your enforcers are actually going to benefit you. Just because they add 6,000 troops to your attack does not make them better. It just means they add 6,000 troops to your attack. What's more important is what do they do for the actual troops. So take a look here. I added him and look what it did. All it did was gave me 6,000 troops. Does that help me? No, it does not. But does this help me? 14% additional HP to my bruisers, plus 6,000 troops, plus 8.4% additional to my attack? Yes, that is helpful. Now let's go down to even my weakest of enforcers and take a look at those. So as you can see from here, that didn't do nothing. Except for give me 2,000 extra troops, so I wasn't sure what he did anyway. So I'm going to click over here on a biker. Alright, so this one right here will increase your biker defense by 2.5, which is pretty decent. So, if I have bikers and I have bruisers in my attack, these are the two enforcers I'm going to use. That's why each one, at the very bottom, comes with who is who. You don't want to just send in your highest level. You want to send the ones that actually give you an attack boost. That is far more important. Second thing is gear. Now, as you can see, I have a purchasable gear, but I also have other gears. So if you go here, I got Victor's Regal Pistol, or Ruger Pistol, whatever, and it gives me an attack to my bruisers and to my bikers and to their HP and everything else. So that is very handy. Another thing you want to do is, as you can see here from my new blood knife, is my new blood knife actually has, um, uh, it's for mostly attackers, uh, like rangers, you know, gunner people. But I also have a bunch of gems in it to, to kind of spread it out a little bit. Gems can increase your offensive capabilities. And it turns out I can actually upgrade that knife, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Out of, no, I'll do that later. So um, the second thing you want to do is make sure that you have a pair of boots for, for attacking. Boots can increase your speed. They also have other uses, but it can increase your speed for your marching. 
So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're doing. You want to find gear that suits your playstyle, and then you want to pick a target. So we're going to go here. I am going to prioritize my enforcers to have my leader as a biker. Then I'm going to click on bikers, and then I'm just going to add everybody here that is a biker. Now keep in mind, this is not the best setup, but this is what I'm going to do for pure entertainment. So now this is where it becomes strategy. So if I send bikers, it'll be 1 minute and 20 seconds. But watch what happens when I add a single car. 2 minutes and 40 seconds. It just went up. So what we're going to do is we're going to send that attack right now. With one car. And here's why. Watch this. Okay. Now we're going to do a quick select. Now look at that. 1 minute and 56 seconds. That means that my underboss, who is getting ready to hit, will actually hit second. You don't want that. You want your boss to hit first because your boss will do the most damage. So we do a click select on this because your first attack is the one where you do a lot of strategy. This one I'll do a click select, take one off, and add one car. Add one car. Now I'm back to going second. Now watch this. I'm going to do it again. Quick select, quick select. Take one car off. Now look at that. I have all of my attacks now synchronized so that each one hits by the strength of the attack. So your first attack is your strongest attack, second is your second strongest, and third and fourth. If you can't beat somebody with your second attack, stop attacking. Wait for your first two marches to come back and then do it again. If you send a third or fourth march, all you're going to do is suffer a shitload of casualties. Don't be in such a rush take your time now the next thing and the last thing I'm gonna do for this video because I, I want these to be short and sweet is I'm gonna to explain to you about boosts so we go to specialties right here the most important thing you want to do is your crew attack max that out make sure you reset this crew attack max out biker attack max out hitman attack max out and bruiser attack max out then you go to crew defense crew HP skip over everything else and go straight down to crew defense then crew HP and max both of them then you go back up to the top again and you find out which one of these are going to be your main priority so if you've got a lot of bikers you're using or if you're using bruisers mainly or hitman mainly you want to max one of those out so you want to make sure you just pick whichever one is going to do the most damage against your opponent and then max out the second one that will do the most damage and repeat until you have done all of them. Even at max level, you will not be able to get max of all of these, but it will help you in the long run. Don't bother doing mortar, mortar crew attack or car attack as it doesn't really help you. So that is the sum of how to offensively attack someone. As you can see from my attack that I did a minute ago, it's probably still on a march, but as you can see, it is currently synchronized. Each attack is right behind the next, and it will take the least amount of uh, casualties because of the fact that my strongest ones are going to hit before my weaker ones. So, two attacks, only two attacks. If that person is not zeroed out, stop attacking and wait. If they are zeroed out, let your other ones keep going and then you can use them for clearing out the account if it has a bunch of resource. This is Elmo signing off and saying have a great day.